y'all. This is Marley K. Hope everybody is well. Got a crazy story I want to share with you, but just goes to show you this stuff is possessed by demons. So <laughs> this artificial intelligence. So um, this story came from the Business Insider on March 11th, 2024. It says a male humanoid robot. So it's interesting that they define these um, robots as male and female. So check that out. Don't, don't sleep on that says a male humanoid robot was unveiled in Saudi Arabia. Then it started touching a female reporter inappropriately. So in order for it to do this, it must have been programmed by somebody who has this spirit in it, correct? Because like, how else would you explain plastic and metal and stuff that has artificial brain deciding, oh yeah, I'm gonna just feel up on a female reporter. So it says a male humanoid robot appeared to be inappropriately touching a female reporter during a presentation named Muhammad. It is a Saud is is Saudi Arabia's first humanoid robot. Muhammad humanoid male robot. Let me say that. Muhammad is fully autonomous and did not deviate from his expected behavior. The maker said the Saudi robotics company unveiling a of a male humanoid robot didn't go as planned after it appeared to be inappropriately touching a female reporter. Saudi robotics company QSS debuted Mohammed, the humanoid robot, at Deep Fest in Riyadh last week. The robot, dressed in traditional Saudi attire, spoke Arabic and English. In a deep forest post on X, Mohammed was described as the Saudi's first robot in the form of a man, as well as a national project to highlight Saudi's, Saudi Arabia's AI achievements. <clears throat> During the presentation, a reporter for Al Arabia Rawia Qasim stood in front of Mohammed as she spoke to the audience. A viral video of the incident showed the robot appearing to extend a hand to war her, uh, forward to touch her backside. In the clip, Kasim can be seen responding with a stern glare, followed by a raised palm at Muhammad before she continues to talk. So I'm going to show the video. <laughs> fair use, fair use, fair use. Let me play it again because it happened so fast I couldn't see it. Watch his hand right there. I'm like, if y'all don't get Muhammad, if y'all don't get him, I'd have been creeped out. Ain't no way I would have been just still standing up there. But anyway, this stuff is everything is perverted, y'all. This you're not gonna be able to stay on this earth. We need to be praying to be delivered. And repenting for our sins every day because if this is what we have to look forward to, it's going to be rough out here in these streets. On X, social media users accused the robot of inappropriately touching the female reporter. QSS, which did not respond immediately. Oh, I forgot. I ain't going to be able to. Well, you might be able to hear it. Hear the. Well, it was really nothing to hear. I keep forgetting about the sound. But the video didn't really have any sound. It's just supposed to watch the robot do his thing. So it says that um, the robot was fully autonomous and was operating independently without direct human control. The robotics firm said staff had proactively informed all, intent all attendees, including reporters, to maintain a safe distance from the robot during its demonstration. So if it's safe and autonomous and all that stuff, why we got to stand far away from it? To me, it just seems as though they know these things are evil and wicked and they just don't want to tell us. And they want us to use it and believe in them because, again, they, they want us. These things are going to be like God. They, you, you're not going to be able to do nothing with them. They're going to do whatever they want to do. You've seen all the movies. The movies always let you know that these um 
robots don't have the power to override whatever they've been programmed to do and take over the world. And taking over the world makes them God. So in any event, um, I just wanted to share this story with you because this is the future, y'all. I don't want no parts of it. So keep praying, keep prepping, repent for your sins daily, sins of commission or sins of omission. Uh, keep the law, statutes, and commandments and the Sabbath because this is our future if you happen to be stuck here and make it through the sword, make it through all the other stuff, the pestilences and the plagues and the famines. Your reward is this. I don't want it. Get somebody else to do it. All right, this is Marla Kay, and I'm out.